extremely high in the air. I am just, must be just hundreds of feet up is what it feels like. Uh, and I can look out into the distance and see tons of trees and I can look down and it looks terrifying. It looks like I will just fall into oblivion down there. And so in just a second, it's going to loop you back to the beginning. Okay. And so what we'll do next that was awesome. is we're going to give... And then you use that joystick to move, so if you wanted to turn around and walk the other direction, all you'd have to do is turn around from the other direction. Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay. And then off you go, oh, so. wow. So now, with this version of the game, I am using a joystick, and I can navigate wherever I would like to, as opposed to the last round where I had a pre-designated journey. Um, okay, I'm going to go over that bridge again. And you can see a lot of details as well. And you can see, you know, light shining off of the building, uh, as well as the reflection in the water as I'm going over this bridge. There are sounds as well, and the sounds kind of help really get you into this virtual reality. Yeah, I can see why uh, you're walking so slow, though, because I can imagine that if I was going almost any faster, I might get sick. <laughs> and it, 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 we've found that it is uh, a device that, especially as a design tool, it's going to take practice. It just, just like any medium that we might be working with as a designer, it's, there's a learning curve associated. You know, it, it's not one of those things you'll immediately be able to jump right into and, and just fill an immediate instant sort of success with, but we think as you become more, more and more accustomed to a virtual space, that designing with this virtual space as part of your tool set um, will, will just simply be part of what we do, it'll be part of the process. Wow. So if you look a little bit to your left, you're going to see these two vertical bars. Uh -huh. that's, that's a part of the elevator. Okay. And that should come down in just a second. Okay. And then you can just move forward and hop on that elevator and it'll take you right up to the top. I'm almost scared. <laughs> <laughs> we, it's, um, we've had several people jump. We had one person duck as they were going up the elevator. So just sort of walk forward and walk on that. Don't go too far. But you can just stand there and this will just take you right on up to the top. Yeah, and it's really fun to sort of look back at the silo, and you can see these turbines that Sam's designed coming sort of right at you, which is a little bit exciting. Oh, wow, Sam, you designed these. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so did you design then every, every, every inch of this game then? Right. It's, yeah, me and Dave have yeah, done so all of the 3D work. And that's just kind of fun. You can just walk forward and just hop right off of there yeah. and look down while you do it. It's, it's pretty exciting. All right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to jump off a oh, building. <laughs> uh, uh, that was pretty neat. Wow. Yeah, that's the key here. That's the, the key thing here, Shane, is that they, they've designed this and so what you're able to do is take designs built in software that architects are already familiar with and already using, don't have to relearn anything. Take those and they've created a basically a pipeline that ports it into this this type of um, system.